This is part three of section 4.2. We have two special logarithms. We have what we call common log, where you don't see a base written. So if you have log and there's no base, this is an understood base of 10. Now, why do we call this a common log? That's because it happens so often because we our number system is a base 10 system. If we had developed in our history a base 20 system, probably log base 20 would be our common log. It's just the way um, our math system works. It's a base 10 system, and so this one comes up a lot, a whole lot. So... Again, mathematicians are lazy, and if we can get away without writing something, we generally do. So because it happens so often, it's just understood. If, you, if it's not specified, it's 10. Now, we also have what we call natural log, and it involves the number e. If you recall from the last section, e is like pi. It comes up naturally. It comes up in a lot of different circumstances but it is also a number that never ends and never repeats. We use ln instead of writing out log for a natural log. So if you see ln x, that's an understood base of e. Now, why is it ln instead of nl for natural log? Because the person who came up with this, I think was French and it was logarithm natural, so it made sense there. Okay, these are also the only logarithms that your calculators can directly calculate. So I'm gonna show you in all these different calculators how to enter these. So let's do log of 1000. This is understood, this is a common log, so this is understood base of 10. On this calculator, if you look, we were using the E button in the last section. LN is there uh, above each other, right? So E and LN go together. And then 10 to a power goes with log. So they are connected on here. If I want to do log of 1000, I'll need to hit the LN log button. I'll hit it twice. It starts off LN. If I hit it again, it goes to natural log. 1000. Technically, you should close the parentheses, but it generally works if you don't, and it gives you the answer of 3. So that's how you would calculate it here. On this calculator, it's a little bit different. Your log is here. And you can see that it goes with 10 to the x up here. So if I wanted to do 10 to a power, I could just hit second and that. And I had hit second and e to the x to use it here. My log, natural log is on the same button. So this one would enter just log 1000. And again, you don't really have to close the parentheses and you get three. One more. Graphing calculator. This is the TI-84. Your log and your natural log buttons are here. If I just hit log 1000 and enter, it tells me my answer is three. Okay, and now ln of e to the seven. We don't even really need a calculator here. This is understood to be log base e of e to the seventh power. Okay. The E and the E, these are the same base. So my answer should just be my exponent, which is seven. Okay, but let's enter this on our calculators just so we can get used to this. It's always important to be comfortable with our calculators. All right, so let's do natural log of E raised to the seventh power. And I am gonna close my parentheses this time and it gives me my answer is seven. Natural log of e to the seventh power, seven. And then finally, natural log 
of, I have to hit second and then E, and then seven, close parentheses, seven. Okay. So I tend to think of it as the log base E or the LN and the E cancel each other out and your answer is just what's at the top. This is going to be very important for us when we start solving equations with logarithms.